Good morning. Today is Monday, July 17th. I'm Sandra Ali with your digital brief. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top stories today. A 12 year old girl being charged with assault for allegedly throwing acid on an 11 year old girl. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office saying it happened at a park in the city last week. That 12 year old arraigned in Wayne County Court over the weekend. In a social media post, the 11 year old's grandmother said she spent four days at the hospital after receiving second and third degree burns on her leg and her side after that attack. That 12 year old is due back in court tomorrow. And check this out here on Sunday, Waterford police caught a 10 foot boa constrictor. Fortunately, it was unharmed and safely turned over to the Oakland County Animal Control and Pet Adoption Center. Waterford police say they are still looking for the snake's rightful owner. Michigan State University used this weekend to test out its new emergency campus alert system. This was put in place after the mass shooting in February that took the lives of three students. The old system that alerted students to run, hide and fight on the night of the shooting used text, phone and an automated voice call to alert students. Now parents, staff and students will also receive a mobile phone app alert as well as outdoor sirens with a new update grades to the security system. I think they're doing the right move, uh, taking steps to show that they're really interested in our safety here on campus. Yeah, I feel pretty safe here on campus, honestly. And it's been really interesting coming back to campus here occasionally. The system is not the only change the university has made to increase security. New door locks have also been installed in buildings around campus. The university also adding new lights to brighten up campus, improving safety in the evening. Let's go ahead and turn now to next weather forecaster Stacy DeFord, who has an update for us on the forecast. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Sandra. We are under an air quality warning for today. That is going through midnight, and we're going to see levels fluctuating between unhealthy for some and unhealthy throughout the day today. So again, if you have harder respiratory conditions, you want to spend as little time outdoors as possible. Expecting a high today of 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. It is going to be hazy out there because of that smoke. Overnight tonight, a low near 59 degrees under partly cloudy skies. And then we do have high pressure building in on Tuesday, looking at sunny skies for Tuesday and Wednesday dry conditions as well with highs in the low 80s. We do have a chance of rain and some potential storms moving back into the area on Thursday. Sandra. Thank you, Stacey, and that is going to do it for today's digital brief for weather, news and sports. We've got you all covered here on CBS News Detroit. We're streaming live on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.